boys and girls. Let's get ready to rumble! Boxing is one of the all-time greatest and most popular sports in history, and although it has seen better days in the last 20 years, one thing's for sure. It spawned a sprawling collection of video games. Midway Games has capitalized on the boxing game craze by developing colorful, cartoony personalities that fit the description of boxing styles worldwide, and a fun fighting system that, although as informal in its design, awards aggressive methods of pugilism. This is Ready to Rumble Boxing for the Nintendo 64, a midway creation that not only is an informal, colorful take on the sport of boxing, but is a tribute to the man behind the infectious phrase that the game gets its name from. There's even a ring with his face on the canvas in the game. I don't think you could get better fan service if you seared Dave Thomas' face onto a Baconator. <laughs> Sugar A. Leonard once said that when Michael Buffer introduces a fighter to the crowd, it makes him want to fight, and there is little doubt that you will want to mash away at the buttons once Boris Nakamov from Zagreb, Croatia is brought into the ring. I'm talking about him since he's an obvious tribute to Ivan Drago, the Rocky IV antagonist and stalwart in the ring. Along with Boris comes the funky soul brother Afro Thunder with his smiley face gloves, the Taiwanese sensation Jet Iron Chin, and even two females, one who reminds me of Layla Ali, Lula Valentine, and Celine Strike from Brasilia. Two methods of boxing mayhem are available. You can tackle the arcade mode and go the distance with the boxer of your choice, or break down everything that goes into a title fight in championship mode, where you train your boxer with weights, heavy bag, speed bag, and other classic methods of pugilistic practice. Each time you step into the ring, You'll laugh as much as you tap away at the C buttons as the two combatants square off, both eager to make the other sit down. Each boxer's style wouldn't exactly help them in a fight against Klitschko or Mayweather, but it's hilarious to see Afro Thunder dance around the ring like a punch-drunk James Brown or listen to Jet Chin's Bruce Lee impressions. Also worth noting is the bruises and hematomas that start to show up after enough blows are traded, evident especially after you've won a tough fight. Each time you score a decent hit, you'll learn a letter that spells out Rumble, and once you do, you can tap your gloves together, resulting in a situation where you can really cause some damage, even if your opponent's guard is up. This is not necessarily the be-all, end-all of a match, especially if your health is extremely low. Now, here's where I harp on the qualities of the Dreamcast version over the N64 edition of Ready to Rumble Boxing. You only have two thumbs, right? So your left controls all your movement with a joystick and your right thumb is controlling your punches. So how in the hell can you tell me that A and B are for protecting myself? This control scheme basically eliminates dodge and counter combos. Also, the Dreamcast graphics were smoother and more developed than that of the N64, and although one is simply better than the other, there's a reason why Ready to Rumble Boxing for the N64 is worth a dollar at your local game store. <laughs>